G'day, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are taking a trip to Selfridges to discover all the wonderful gluten-free fancy goodies that they've got. Selfridges is a high-end department store that has all of, you know, the fancy brands, got Gucci, Prada, Balenciaga, all the ones that you've heard about. But it's also home to a fantastic food hall and there are a couple of restaurants as well, I believe. And from my experiences in the past, I have been able to pick up some amazing gluten-free goodies there. So we're gonna go there today, suss out what gluten-free goodies we can find, try a few things as well, and just have an all around good time. In my humble New Zealand opinion, Selfridges is an incredibly fancy place. So I have blow dried my hair for this. You might not be able to tell. And I'm wearing my best outfit. <laughs> This is seriously my best outfit and I don't even have matching socks. <laughs> but you know, as long as I feel good, that's all that matters. So we're going to head off now. Only takes about 30 minutes to get to. You're going to come with me on the journey. One of the things I'm mostly looking forward to is the Burrow 22 Donuts, which are all gluten-free, all vegan, and I've never tried them before. I'm probably the only gluten-free person in London or the UK that's not tried them. But the reason is, is that you can only buy them in a big pack and I just don't have really that many people to share it with and I don't want them to go to waste. So I've never had them before, but apparently you can buy them individually at Selfridges. So that's what I'm most excited for. I know that there's also Little Moon's Mochi and, and their Weiss little in-store sort of supermarket thing also stocks a lot of gluten-free products that you can't really find in any other places. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm going to chuck some shoes on and maybe some mascara <laughs> and we're going to get off. And just a quick LinkedIn check-in. All right, let's head off. chocolate on my mask. The first thing I found was a Barry 22 donut and I got some other things from Elizabeth D. Bakes and Be Tempted, both gluten-free brands. Now I'm just going to have a quick look around the sort of deli, um, supermarket -y area and I'll show you some cool things that I find that are gluten-free. First up I spied the delicious gluten-free cookie doughs, they're also vegan, as well as the honey and date raw brownies. Then I found Melon Marsh's vegan and gluten-free well as every single type of popcorn from Joel and Sips and my favourite brown bag crisps. Then I found some gluten free and vegan mac and cheese as well as all the sauces from the Burger Co. The Great British Porridge Co had all of their flavours in stock as well and there were breads from the gluten free bakery. Then I saw a bunch of gluten free Turkish delights. Then there was a place that was selling fresh spring rolls that were gluten free by ingredient however did have a may contain warning and I found a poke bowl place that had some gluten free options but we'll talk a little bit more about this one later. Then I visited Little Moon's Mochi which sell ice cream covered in mochi where I picked up a single ball of chocolate. Stepped outside to eat my single mochi moon ball. So these are ice cream covered in mochi which is made out of rice flour. They're all gluten free I think you might have shoot me around that but all of the ones that were in the like freeze sold individually were gluten free so this is the chocolate one. Here we are. Normally I'd get like four <laughs> but I've got a lot of treats to eat today so I just thought I'd have to try one. Oh. I found 
found a place that does chocolate covered fruit and I got a single white chocolate and milk chocolate covered strawberry. All the chocolates are gluten free, not all the toppings are gluten free, um, but it was pretty much kept separate, so I was happy to try one. It was delightful. You can also buy them pick, so I'm gonna. That was yummy. Then I found a place that 3D printed customizable nutritional gummies. They were gluten free, I asked. After that, I headed on down to the basement to check out the confectionery. And boy, did they have everything. They had pretty much every type of chocolate, a lot of vegan chocolate as well. And about a million different types of nougat, all of which gluten free. So I definitely should have come here from the Try in the UK Sweets video to pick up a bunch of things. Might have to do that for the next one. There was also a massive wine cellar and then I got briefly distracted by the pet clothes. I found this little bow tie. I thought it would look so cute on Lincoln but it was quite expensive. There was also cute bandanas and I nearly bought him a rain jacket for our walks but it was £68 and I don't think I could justify it. Upstairs I was once again distracted by the cutest little soft toys that were fruit and vegetables with little faces. That one's an asparagus. Found a bubble tea shop on the top floor. Unfortunately, though, they did have make and tame warnings, so I couldn't eat there. Then I found L and N Cafe. They had gluten-free options, but they did also have a make and tame warning. It did have a wonderful view, though. Then I made my way to the third floor to Hive Restaurant. It's called Hive because they actually have their own beehives on the roof. Hive was the only restaurant to have gluten-free symbols on their menu. The Corner, Orbain, and Brasserie of Light did not have gluten-free symbols on their menu. However, I did find this huge cat and an indoor skate bowl. I've just left Selfridges, um, but oh my goodness, the worst thing just happened. Well, not the worst, but an embarrassing thing happened. Um, so I'm gonna head home now so we can eat the goodies that I got and I'll tell you what happened <laughs> Okay, back home now. So let's try some tasty treats. Okay. Oh, Link, I got you something Free this. <laughs> I just found it at Flying Tiger. It was like one pound. He doesn't need more toys I know but I thought he'd like it. <laughs> so what happened? I went back to the poker bowl place and they had previously said that everything was gluten free and I was like oh that's amazing that's so good so I went back it was the same lady that had told me that so I was like fantastic I'll just order I ordered the falafel bowl or something I don't know she was like what do you want for a base oh, I'll do brown rice and like mixed salad and she's like cool do you want soy sauce I was like yes if it's gluten free and maybe she didn't hear me but it's like but it was fine because the soy sauce was gluten free and then she was like putting on the other stuff and then she got to the end she's like do you want crispy onions I was like are they gluten free and she's like oh no are you gluten free I was like yes and she's like well you can't have the falafel <laughs> And I was like, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I thought you said that everything was gluten free when I came before. She's like, yeah, everything is gluten free, except the falafel and the crispy onions. So I had this whole bowl made up ready for me and I just couldn't eat it. And I like apologize. I was like, I'm so, so sorry, I can't have that. And she said that was fine. Oh, Lincoln, I'm telling my story. Oh. <laughs> she said, oh, sorry for like the miscommunication, which is okay. But I got like, quite like I don't know sometimes sometimes I'm a, a bit sensitive and I got a little upset about it not like upset upset I was just like oh that really sucked like, I felt a bit like guilty for making her make that and not having like triple checked but I thought I was okay but just goes to show you you can never be too sure I didn't have that so I am a little bit hungry which is good because I've got a lot of snacks to eat oh I didn't show you on the way out but I the lovely um, Legal Nomad on Instagram sent me one of her beautiful bags. It says, I'm not being trendy, I have the disease. <laughs> Very relevant for today's excursion. <laughs> but anyway, I've got a couple of things I didn't show you. got my favourite um, smoked bacon crisp, brown bag crisp from Naturally Delicious. And I also saw these roasted fava beans, which I've just recently got into because of Love Food Mom sent them. I don't really know what a fava bean is, but... I know they're delicious. And then of course I got the dark chocolate and hazelnut crayon from Be Tempted. And I got Elizabeth D. Bakes' polka dot cookie. 
This is not for you. Lincoln, this is not very professional. Where's the ball? I'm gonna move to the side of it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with, of course, oh no, I smushed it. Faro 22 Vegan S'more Donut. Oh, Vegan S'more Donut. No, <laughs> it's not for you. Here is what it looks like. This is vegan and gluten-free. All of Faro 22 Donuts are vegan and gluten-free. So let's give this well. First time I've tried it. Can't believe it. Mmm. Mmm. That's yummy. So here you go. I've just broken it open. So it's just like a plain donut on the inside. Marshmallow and the chocolate is really good. Um, so it's like a cake donut. It is quite dense. Mmm. <laughs> the chocolate is so good. Can't tell it's vegan. Thoughts. It is a cakey donut quite dense. I wouldn't be able to tell it's necessarily vegan, but it reminds me of those little sugar donuts that you get. You know the ones and you could get them in like a big packet or something. It reminds me of the same texture as that. It did cost £3.49, but it's quite dense. It'd probably almost be a meal. <laughs> Yummy! Next up, we have got Be Tempted Hazelnut and Chocolate Freons. This was actually at the suggestion of the person that worked at the bakery part. I was like, what do you like? She's like, out of the gluten-free stuff, the donuts and the freons. Let's give this a go. I'm gonna have the whole thing before I share my thoughts. Um, yeah, it was very yummy. I had a good freon texture. It was nice and light, sort of melty in the mouth. The hazelnut flavour, there is definitely a hazelnut flavour, but it is a little bit overpowered by the sweetness of the chocolate. But all in all, really lovely. And like such a cute wee, it comes in such a cute wee bag. The cost of these was £4.99. The last bake I've got for us is Elizabeth D. Bakes polka dot cookie. You get two massive cookies and it was £3. If you're thinking like, wow, that's expensive, just... Bear in mind, this was Selfridges. <laughs> Even the gluten things were expensive, so these are quite reasonably priced. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, cute. It's gluten free and vegan as well. Here we go. Oh, this is the texture. It's not so crunchy like I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Oh. Yummy. <laughs> Quite pleasantly surprised. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is yummy. I thought it was going to be a little bit crunchy on the outside. It's not, but that's sort of, it's fine. It's like a chewy cookie and you get like a nice crunch from the um, M&Ms or whatever these are on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I love the chewy center. Do you know what I really like about that cookie? It's not overpoweringly sweet. Okay, so final thoughts of Selfridges. If you're in London as a tourist, you're probably going to end up on Oxford Street. So I would definitely suggest checking out Selfridges and checking out specifically the food hall. The restaurants, as I showed you, none of them really had gluten-free options on the menu apart from one. And pretty much all of them had a make tank gluten warning. And there are so many other places around London that are 100% gluten-free. So many restaurants that are around London that are 100% gluten-free that I would like suggest over those for like a proper restaurant meal but if you're going in for like a food hall type of meal then it's a really good place to go so there are lots of options however i do think there used to be more options because of course beyond bread used to be situated in the south fridges food hall but it unfortunately closed down in 2019 and that was an entire gluten-free bakery so you had so many choices there was pastries breads toasties everything taking that away from south fridges is actually a big difference in terms of going there for gluten-free food but obviously there are a lot of good foods in there generally it's the sweeter stuff that is probably safer for celiacs. There were quite a few gluten-free options, but they do come with a bit of a make tain warning, like those fresh spring rolls and the poke bowl place. But in terms of Little Moon's Mochi, that's all gluten-free, and the baked goods that are all packaged, they're all gluten-free as well. And there's so many little things that you can pick up in the Selfridges like food store part that um, definitely makes it worth it as well. The only thing, the only one thing that I didn't find was there is a wagon wheel company that do a gluten-free version of their wagon wheel. And I think actually it won a free from food award, like the overall award. Not too sure though. And I really wanted to find that because I've never tried 
a wagon wheel before, but there was no gluten-free ones. There were vegan ones, but there were no gluten-free ones this time. So that's the only thing I'm sad about missing out on. So thank you for your patience and waiting for this video. I hope it was worth it. I hope that it's given you a little bit of a guide. Hopefully it's given you a little bit more confidence to go check out Selfridges Food Hall and what goodies you might be able to look out for when you're there. Where am I going next? Fantastic question. I have had some requests to check out the London market, specifically Borough Market, which is good because I'm not too far away from that. So it looks like it, my next couple of vlogs will be market-based, which is exciting. But if you have any other suggestions on what you'd like to see, feel free to let me know and um, I'll probably do them because <laughs> this is what I love to do. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.